Welcome back amazing people to Christianity over Islam channel and on today's episode of this amazing debate Sam Shemon schools Uthman's Muhammadans in a lot of juicy topics that we have discussed Let's watch this amazing video to find out more truth You are now about to witness the strength of the gospel Camera, I'd love to talk to you. If they give out the camera, I'll talk to you. I gotta be a, I gotta be a servant right now. I know, but I gotta be a servant right now. I play, I play my role. Fifty subjects you change, right? And then record this uh, vocab because I want I'm to explain the victim. Over. I'm telling you, proof to me. What was the debate about? Do you believe in killing babies? Uh, well, according to your Quran, you're allowed. Do you believe in killing babies? Well, you're God. Well, prove it to me. Show me. Okay. Show me. In the Bible, it says you could kill. How many topics babies did he change? And, and, and How many topics children? did he change? Who's the coward here? Four. Yeah, because you're jumping. Okay, no, I didn't. Did yeah, I jump? Jumping. Did I open up counts? Uh, no, you're jumping. Yeah? Record this because we're gonna make him famous. I wanted to because you keep talking. We're gonna have to. Uh, okay, okay, enjoy. Okay. enjoy no, 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 don't, Listen, don't, because, no, you don't, don't talk. Don't, you don't, don't want to talk. Don't run. Okay. Okay, here you go. Chapter two. Listen. I did. I even read his verse and he's got. Oh, read it. Are you noticing it, right? Chapter two. This is forty-six. I can watch you read too. Here you go. Aha. Now you're going to say context. So I want you to prove the context for me. Here you go. Here you go. Have you not considered the assembly of the children of Israel after I Moses? thought it's only one discussion. Why it's a discussion on the side? they're talking already. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's the benefit. You want to there, join? Right? Let's go join. Yes, no, because your, your actor there is saying three. He's trying to play for the camera. How about a little respect? How about a little respect? Doesn't your Bible tell you to respect people? Yes, it does. Why are you talking about it? Uh, because was he respecting them? We got to record it. When yeah, he was insulting yeah, them? Of course. Was no, he respecting not, them no, when he was saying I didn't, I didn't hear any insult. Anyway, of anyway, course anyway, you did. Anyway, 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 anyway. I want to hear anyway. the verse. I want to hear anyway. the Yeah, they won't let you quote anything. You notice that, right? They don't let you quote anything from the Quran. They're having a good conversation. Nothing. They're having a good conversation. I want to hear the verse. brother make a well clean Okay. What have you not considered the assembly of the children of Israel after the time of Moses when they said to a prophet of theirs, send us to a king? Uh, do not suppose fight. that I have come to bring peace to earth. I did not come Wait, to bring peace but a sword. See, they, they, because they're cowards. The read Luke 19, no, no, let me read, read Luke 19, yeah, so 11, 27. Read this is the, this is the verse I'm reading. Explain it to me. What, 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 no, what? Explain it to me. Give me the Bible so I can school Explain them on the Bible and the Quran. Please, please school Why'd you just do that? You said respect. No, he said, no, because they're victims. The narcissist is victims. Absolutely. But what's your what's your reason? My reason is that there's one discussion. There's no need to make two discussions, make a scene. Says who? Yeah. Says who? That's what they agree on. You want us to deal with the verse? Really? You guys gotta keep That's changing. what they agree on. Where's that written? It's, it, that, it's, where's that written? Where's that written? Where's that written? It's between there. It's okay. between there. Now read to him what he yeah. quoted out context, but I'm gonna show him what his Quran says. But go to Luke 19, 11 to 27. He quoted 27. Read 11 to 27. Read it for me. It's always the guy who comes over talking about respect. He's the most disrespectful. You notice that? That's disrespectful. Yeah, you immediately just started over talking. Can we now finish the verse? You're jumping. Can we finish the verse? He was answering you. You were about to get it. You were about to get it? Yeah, he was answering you. So here's the thing. And you got saved by this I, guy. I, I, read, I read some different verses, like different can numbers. Read this can, verse? You see, he changed the subject again. No, no, no. No, no, no. I want to read the book. Okay, here. Sure. Continue where you are. You, you see want, how many Sam? choppings changed? Go ahead. Go Don't ahead. let Mr. Go ahead. Respect Go throw you off. Because he didn't. You ask him, he didn't. That's hey, why I'm waiting. No, because you keep talking. I'll give him Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. That's funny. people, it might break off a little subsection. Yeah. If we had all day tomorrow, the next day. No, check this out. So, my friend, did you hear what he said? Be honest with you. Did you not hear what he said? Of course I 
he said, oh, three of you, you know, making fun in front of the camera. Yeah, of three of us, right? So I'm pulling away. So, 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 wait, so wait for him to finish. Can you not okay, answer? But when he Some said three you of you, no, said, because he's trying to play you for the camera. So now I'm that's pulling away, so it won't be three of us. You guys can answer. We can talk to you as well. Because the one you came in, if you debate him, right? No, that's not what we came. Why are you telling us why we came? I don't know. You came to talk to him. said it, and you said Muhammad, and you said you're going to take on Muhammad. He said it on his Twitter. He said it on his Twitter. Or his Facebook. I came to talk to Muslims. When you are friends, let's just go to meet them. Now, here's what's interesting. If we weren't here, all of you would be out trying to talk to everyone past the No, I don't, I don't talk to anybody. I just saw numerous people say, let's talk about religion here. Take no, it. you're giving pamphlets out. Let's not talk Yes, and let's talk about Islam. This is, okay, buddy. So here's the thing. Now all of a sudden you want to control it and have everything over there. If, you no, don't, if you're not you interested, came, then go, that's cool. For the sake of time, lower voice. So we can have I speak loud, so we he can speaks have loud. A fruitful talk discussion. No, you don't. You so cut off. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, talk yeah, yeah. to you. Most people are from minutes. different yeah. counties, yeah. states, yeah. and counties. Yeah. Like and if we're not. Why are you Christian? Well, we can not believe it to be true. Do you believe in Trinity? Evan. I'm asking you guys. Do you believe in Trinity? They're going to distract you. That's what they do. That's their tactic. So we have a new issue. Yeah, that's right. There's one guy. So there's one guy? Okay, so now you change the subject, right? Is the father God? There's going to be the father of God. The father of God. If you so, so three God, not one. Okay, let me yeah, ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not no, 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 is like the Quran uncreated? No, 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 no,
They're trying to hit everybody up, right? No, but they, they were jumping through so many topics. And like right when you came, the topic randomly became the Council of Nicaea. Mm -hmm. And Sam said, you don't even know what the Council of Nicaea was about. So the guy looked it up. So we looked it up on the phone. Yeah. And that's when you came. Right. And then suddenly the topic, I'm talking about how the topic was. Yeah, 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 no you know, so, and suddenly the topic wasn't the Council of Nicaea, and it looked like Sam was trying to read from the Quran, and this is what, this is what I was trying to tell you, what I, what I wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah, as a person yeah, yeah. who isn't as yeah, learned that's fair, that's fair. on Islamic doctrine, yeah. tradition, etc., yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I wanted to hear. So yeah. then when, the, when I saw um, you asked Sam a question and he put out the Quran he was trying to read, he was never able to finish reading it. I was, inter I was, I was interested yeah. In hearing what he was going to read sure, and sure, how you sure, would sure. respond to that, and we yeah. never got to that. Yeah, and then yeah, suddenly yeah. Luke 19 came up, yeah. and Sam asked me to read that, and then for some reason I was never able to read to, that. To either. be honest, I, what's your name, brother? My name is Vader. My name is Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Vader, right? Yeah. Vader. So I never heard that name before. Yeah, it means famous ruler. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. Man. So he ain't famous. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy though. The, the thing is, Vader, what happened was with me and Sam. We talked earlier, and then when Sam, he brought up a verse in the Quran, right. and I explained it, and then he jumped to another verse. And then another verse, and then right. he asked about the Bible. Right. So and then, I, so, and then so that's what, when I walked so, up. So yeah. Right. So then what 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 it felt like in that discussion was it wasn't like going anywhere, and it was just like okay, I'm gonna ask you, but I'm gonna jump in. So it kind of that was the atmosphere. Right. It was it didn't feel really like genuinely sincere, you know. I got you. But I could tell you're a sincere person. Nah, honestly. Nah, Forgive I, me I if am. I if I if I said that earlier to you. I didn't mean to. It's like make I, you feel, I got I got yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, you yeah. made me feel no kind of way. Okay, I feel that for sure. Now what I will say though yeah, yeah, yeah. that because you, you expressed those concerns to Sam. And you can take this with a grain of salt or however you want. No, that's true. But when you express those concerns with Sam, he did say, explain verse 11, um, verse 91. Now, I don't know what that means. Sure, I don't know what up. verse 91 is. Up. Wait, I don't even know what it is. But okay, my point okay. is, when you said... We can pull it up though, wait, if you like. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But my point is, when you said, you jumping from all of these different verses and I don't know which ones, you know, to respond to. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, you're yeah. not letting me finish. No, I'm listening, I'm listening. He said, okay, well, explain verse 91. Yeah. And, and then that proceeded to not get explained you know so for me a person who's trying to listen to a healthy conversation i know you're saying that sam wasn't the one being fruitful but that yeah. but that that came off like you were the one who weren't uh, trying to have the conversation. you weren't there before you came like into that moment right i know before. it was like that you know it was it was uh it, it was it wasn't really sincere you know uh that's the thing i feel like okay. with sam when he's bringing up the verse it i don't know if that's his intention no. only god knows the intention right but the thing is is when you mention something and speak a certain way sometimes people think oh you're not really looking to understand it you're just looking to manipulate the understanding maybe for viewers maybe for the camera you know but this is verse 91 if you want me to pull it up he was asking me about this one the verse says and 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 what when it is said to them believe in what allah has revealed they say we believe in that which was revealed to us and they deny what is besides that while it is the truth very verifying what they have say when did when when why then did you kill Allah's prophets before if you were indeed believers? Now, see, the thing is, is you have to have context. And, uh, you know, let me pull up the full, this whole thing. But basically, Allah, in the Quran, Allah is talking to the generations that came before us. Uh -huh. Yeah? He's talking to the children of Israel. He's talking to uh, the people of uh, uh, the, the, the people of the Injil, who were with Jesus. But see, the prophets that came with the Muslims, we believe in Jesus, Abraham, Moses. I'm sure you might know this already. I don't know if you know anything about Islam. I'm that familiar with yeah, that familiar? Okay. Yeah, but I'm so, not familiar with like the in-depth of it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like of course. Years. Of course, there's context, yeah. Right. So we believe in all the prophets, yeah? Right. But the thing is, is we, we believe that when Moses, when Moses came and Jesus came, he came for the children of Israel. Meaning there were a, a, tri a people that were called Bani Israel, a nation. So Jesus didn't come for humanity. He came for specifically for the children of Israel. Okay, so but what happened is because they kept changing, they tried to crucify him. Muslims don't believe he was crucified though, but they tried to kill him uh, because he came with a message and they constantly basically disobeyed the creator, disobeyed his messengers, killed prophets, things like that. Because of that, God said, you know what? You are no longer the chosen people. But once upon a time, the children of Israel, they were the chosen people. They were favored by God. But what happened was, because they kept disobeying God, they kept changing the original message, they kept changing the, the, word, the, the message of God, they kept doing that. So God said, you know what, you're no longer chasing people. I'm going to send the last messenger, final messenger, not to a nation, not to the Mexicans, not to the Asians, not to the Chinese, not to the Muslims, Arabs, or whatever. I'm sending them to humanity. 
And Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came for humanity. He came for the Africans, for the South Americans, for the Canadians. He came for everyone. But Jesus, he didn't come for everyone. He came for his people, his nation, which was the children of Israel. So when Allah says that in the Quran, oh, you, oh, Bani Israel, you, you, you killed the messengers, you've done all these things. He's telling them, hey, listen, you read this book and, and this is the final message that's going to confirm with what you have. But with what they have, it's not the message that we can use as reference. Why can't we use the... See, as Muslims, look, as Muslims, we have to believe in the Bible, the Injil, the Gospel, and we have to believe in the Torah, okay? We believe in it, but we just don't use it as a point of reference. Why? Because What does that mean? You say you believe in the Gospel, we believe but that, you don't use it as a yeah, point of yeah, reference? Yeah, 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 sorry, so sorry. Mean? Yeah, so it, once upon a time, those books did exist. It came once down. Once upon a time, what books uh, yeah, the, 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 oh, the uh, uh, Book of Moses, the Torah. The Torah, okay. yeah, okay. and the uh, Injil, which is the Gospel. So those books, they came down. And when you say, and when you say the Gospel, are you referring to the Gospel? Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We may have said this like the Muslim where it says, Isa will descend among you. Isa will descend soon among you. Recognize him. But he didn't descend. So you would say, it doesn't mean you necessarily. Be prepared because he can come down at any time. Right. So just like Paul, Jesus can come in any So let's be ready. He may come on the line or he may come after I'm dead. That's first okay. Thessalonians 5 verse 10. So I'm giving the verse. I don't have the Bible. Yeah, but, so I thought the first day he thought he was going to happen. Yeah, no, he's saying it can't. Point is, if Jesus comes down right now, I'm transformed. But he says in first Thessalonians 5 10, whether we are alive or asleep, the Lord will come. So he's saying, I may be alive or I may be asleep, meaning dead. Because you don't know that they are alive. No one knows the unseen. Right? So this is why he's, he lived in the expectation, let me be ready, let me be ready for Jesus to come. So if he does come, I'm ready. If not, at least I die knowing I'm in a state of salam. Peace. I do have a question. Yeah, sir. By so, the way, I'm, I don't know, I'm speaking Arabic to you. I just a few Arabic words, so I'm assuming. Oh, I don't know any Arabic. Okay. Oh, just a few words. But I have a question. Like, how do you guys reconcile? Like, I'll watch like uh, uh, the Christian historian, yes. and they'll say only seven or six letters are authentic. Yeah, that because yeah. now, but. Do you guys follow that? Um, yeah, no, that's, I don't, you're, I don't you're talking, know. No, he's yeah. talking about people like Barnard. Right. The, the people you're quoting as no, that's uh, Christian yeah. scholars, they're not necessarily scholars. They are what they call agnostic or atheists. Mm. Yeah, Herman, do not believe. <laughs> do not believe that God inspires people. And if there are differences in the language of a letter, let's say you're writing a letter to your friend, mm -hmm. and then you write a letter to your wife. Mm -hmm. I don't expect you're going to write the same way to your friend, to your wife, right? Yeah. So what do the scholars do? They'll see Paul write to Timothy, and they see he uses different words than he did when he wrote to this group. Mm -hmm. Therefore, because they're different words, it means it's a different author. But if I use that logic, mm -hmm. I can then take a letter that you wrote to your wife. Mm -hmm. And I can take a letter that you wrote to your boss, and I can take a letter that you wrote to your friend, and see that you use different language. Because the way you're going to talk to your wife, you're not going to talk to him that way, right? Mm. Oh, see, you didn't write him. Mm. Someone else did. Now, what would you say to that assumption? If I believe that I wrote the letter, yeah, I would, I would, I would disagree with that. Exactly. So there is no evidence. Historically, there is no evidence whatsoever that these other letters were not from Paul. It is a modern assumption mm -hmm. that if there's different vocabulary, and a second problem, mm -hmm. in the ancient world, they would use scribes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Paul mm -hmm. had many scribes. One of his scribes was Silas. Mm -hmm. One of his scribes was Tertius. Mm -hmm. So I can have this scribe say, okay, write these words down, and mm -hmm. then I can tell him for another letter, but the scribes don't write the same way. Mm -hmm. They write differently, especially if I give them the freedom to communicate my words in a way mm -hmm that will be sensible to him and the way he writes. So, if I use you as a scribe, are you going to write like him? No. And then I have him write another letter for me in a different time. Yeah. Is he going to write like you? No. Are there going to be differences? Yeah. Does that mean I didn't dictate to you two or ask you to write for me? Mm. That's the logic of these skeptics. And then keep in mind, too, some of those you know, letters are written by Paul is in jail, right? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he's going to have to rely upon other yes. saying to assist the writing yeah. thing. So, to, to his point, you know, when it comes to, you know, the different scribes, if you take those two points into account, no, the different scribes and also different terms of audiences that you're writing to, you know what I'm saying, it makes a whole lot of sense why every letter wouldn't be cookie cutter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's, for, so for those same reasons, that's why I re yeah, yeah, reject this notion to, that, okay, well, some of these letters aren't authentic and some of them are. I think you have to take those real world factors into account. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, I was wondering, yeah. 
Ahead. Go ahead. So the, when Paul was when Paul was preaching, did all the churches in the first century have copies of his letters or no? Yeah, well, well they, they would make copies of yes. For example, mm. when he wrote a letter to the Ephesians, mm. they would then <clears throat> send it out to other churches. And he says to do that. For example, if you read Colossians 4.16, he goes, read the letter from the Laodiceans and have them read this. Mm -hmm. So they would copy the letters because they understood this is a letter of an apostle and a spokesperson for Jesus Christ. And so they wanted that letter. Mm -hmm. Hey man, the apostle wrote you a letter, we want a copy. So they would mass copy these letters early on and then it would spread wide and far throughout the then known world. And that's in Colossians 4.16. And actually some in, in the uh, centuries that follow, among the reasons why a, a letter or one of the gospels or whatever would be taken to be what's called canon, you know what I'm saying, as, you know, uh, in terms of having authority versus one that isn't, one of the things that they took into account is how much had that letter circulated amongst the church. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, anybody can write anything, you know what I'm saying, but if, any, if, it was, if it wasn't gaining traction you know what I'm saying, and wasn't, you know, uh, you know, ministering to the ecclesia, you know, the body, then that was an indicator that something wouldn't be included. But Paul's letters, obviously, because they were circulating like that, and, you know, uh, serve, serve to the body, um, that was one of the factors that, you know, uh, were his letters be included into the canon. Mm -hmm. So he was definitely in, in heavy circulation, if you will. He used, you know, hip -hop I, I thought, you know, I thought, I was under the impression, you know what I mean? I was, I was under the impression that Marcion only had the, Marsha, well, let me talk about Marsha. Oh, he only had the seven letters of Paul no, yeah. and a redacted book of Mark and then he came Luke, in. Not Mark, Luke, he Martian, Luke. Luke. Martian, Luke. Oh, well, yeah, 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 Luke. Why? Why did Martian do that? Because Martian thought that the God of the Old Testament was a just yeah, God, yeah, yeah. an evil God, and Jesus came to liberate you mm -hmm. from that God. Well. Now, I don't know what your background is. I don't mm -hmm. know what you believe, but mm -hmm. obviously, one thing about Jesus we know for certain, mm -hmm. he preached that the God of the Old Testament is a true God. Amen, amen. So for someone to come and say, the God of the Old Testament is an evil God, and Jesus liberates you from that, you know that's not the teachings of the story of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what did Paul do? I'm uh, sorry, what did Martian do? He took the letters of Paul, edited them, and took Luke, edited it, any positive reference to the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the Gospels, he had no use for, because there was too much references to the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Even Luke had too much for his taste, so he edited it. Whereas with Paul, there are not as much allusions or reference to the Old Testament, and so he could deal with that and chop it up. And that's what forced the church to say, no, Martian, you can't play with the canon this way. You can't just take the letters of Paul that you like and edit them and take the Gospel of Luke and edit it because you don't agree that the God of the Old Testament is a, is a true God. That's not going to happen. Because one thing we know is that the historical Jesus affirmed the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So Martian is not a friend, not only he's not a friend for the church, he's not a friend for anyone who believes the God of the Old Testament is the true God. So I don't know if that's what you mean. Know. What do you believe about the God of Abraham? Oh, I used to be a Christian, I'm not anymore. Okay, so but what are you now? I'm a Muslim now. Okay, so as a Muslim, you believe the God of Abraham is a, just, is a true God. Yeah. Martian would say you're, you're smoking crack. Yeah. Uh, so do you agree with Martian? No, no. He no, no. used smoking crack. No, because I remember I read, I read about it. And I wasn't sure that, no, because some people believe, I'm not talking about oh, no, I mean, but some people believe that he was probably the first, he was a pre-formed Bible, like he was the first one who had a somewhat of a New Testament formed let's, on, his let's, own, on his own authority. authority well, let's yeah. run with that. How can he create a canon if there wasn't already a canon functioning? In other words, mm -hmm. of all these letters, why is it that he chose Paul and Luke if Paul and Luke are not already in circulation yeah. and accepted by the churches, right? Uh -huh. You don't just make up something. Take something that's already in circulation. Did he, did he make up the writings of Paul? No. Did he make up the writing of Luke? Did he make up the writing of Luke? No, right? These are writings that were circulating. So what did God, or what did Martian do? He took what was already the common possession of the church and he said, I'm going to select these and I reject those. The fact that he rejected some, what does that tell you? There is a functional canon, a canon functioning, right? Mm -hmm. But he's saying, I don't want those books. You can have them and only follow these because these are the only true authentic yeah. essence. Yeah. So that's his logic. It's like someone saying, these surahs I like, mm -hmm. those surahs, they're fake. Mm -hmm. But then the communion of Lord saying, by what authority do you say they're fake? Uh -huh. You get my point? Mm -hmm. By what authority do you mm -hmm. say they're fake? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't agree with its theological assumption. And that's, again, we all do that. For example, as a Muslim, mm -hmm. because you did not believe Jesus has gotten the flesh, guess mm -hmm. what you're going to do to my Bible? Which mm -hmm. you Muslims do. I mean, I'm sad to attack. Mm -hmm. You then go and quote those verses of the Bible that agree with the Quran, Mm -hmm. And those verses that contradict you say corruption. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a Martianite move on the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right? How different mm -hmm. is it?
Well, well there's a verse in the Bible that contradicts the Quran. What do you say about it? See, but that's my whole thing. This is my whole thing. I'm not but like, then you're doing what Marshall I'm not like, I'm not like trashing, not, not no, like, we don't get a to my parents or Christians. Yeah. I'm just saying that when I read, not going too well. I just can't verify no, like well. internally, like, if Jesus really said that, I'm like, I, I just, yeah, I just debated yeah. about that. Like, that's the only thing. Yeah, like when I read like the New Testament, yeah. like, like, um, I just don't know. Like, I, I'm just don't know, man. But when you say verify internally, okay, like, it, like just the quotes, like, like when Jesus says, "I and the Father are one." Did he really say that? Or was that was a question? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, like, there's certain my whole because. Um, I'm not sure about if Jesus said he needed to stop in the like Texas. Yeah. Well, Anything like you would have said. He okay, said okay, like but are I, you I certain? The well, but, one. well, let me say that. I was going to ask him why he was unsure. Okay, but here I wanted to talk mm -hmm. to that. So you're sure that when the Quran quotes what Jesus said in the Quran mm -hmm. by a man who comes 600 years after the birth of Jesus yeah. and he's quoting him in Arabic, oh, the language that Jesus didn't speak, mm -hmm. but you're sure that Jesus said those words? Because because of what I spent years. It's not like nothing new. Like I know, but I, you okay? It's not like nothing new. Like I was going to church twice a week. Yeah, I was into it. But I'm just saying, like after a while, I saw believing in a lot of it. And I'm like, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this is true or not. And then I don't even know if Jesus died on the cross. Yeah, this is just me doing my own historical research. So that's why you have to reject it. But before you even answer that question, let's come back to the first one. Do you deny anything that Jesus said in the Quran? No, I don't. Even though it comes from Muhammad, 600 years removed from Jesus, and didn't know the eyewitnesses, and didn't meet Jesus while he's on earth. No, but this is what I'm saying. No, like, but I mean, even yeah. though, right? Yeah, yeah. But even with, well, I'm mm -hmm. just to finish the point, mm -hmm. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. even someone like Bart Ehrman is a skeptic. Well, mm -hmm. These are first century writers. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. He doesn't believe Matthew wrote Matthew. Mark wrote Mark. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe they're inspired. But he goes, as an historian, one third, certain thing I can tell you, mm -hmm. these are first century accounts mm -hmm. written within 40 to, okay, 40 to 60 years mm -hmm. after Jesus' crucifixion. Yeah. So if these documents are in first century, when mm -hmm. the generations eyewitnesses are still there and mm -hmm. you still question them, but then you're telling me I'm going to take a word of someone 600 years later who did not know the eyewitnesses. No, but this is, why? this is after four years of, yeah, but why? let me see, I think I left the church like 2015, and, but then this is like years of research on my own. And I came to the conclusion that they must have been corrupted, the Bible. On that, what grounds? I don't know, like I couldn't believe the Noah's blood story. But the it's part, in the Quran, dude. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about man. the children of Ham part. I couldn't believe that. What does it say about the children of Ham? You can't use that verse and say all the black people. Can I give you $10 million? <laughs> I'll give you $10 million <laughs> if you show me in Genesis 9 where Ham was cursed. He says he was no, cursed. No, cursed be Canaan. But that's, the that's not how the historically it's been read. Forget them, you're going by the Bible. You said you rejected the Bible. No, but the whole the Where whole does it say cursed be Ham? Oh, no, but I'm just saying. It says, but I thought it said cursed be Ham. No, cursed be Canaan. In no. Canaan, they were a race of Caucasians. They were not even black. Meaning their skin color, if you're going to go by their skin color historically, they were not black. So that's not the Canaan, I, I know, but that's just Okay, but can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you believe the Hadith? Yeah, I do, I do. Okay, then if I show you from Bukhari that Muhammad owned black slaves and sold black slaves, mm -hmm. and then it says, according to Kadi Iyad and mm -hmm. as he said, if anyone says that Muhammad is a black man, kill him. You're going to be okay with that? If I show you those Hadiths? No statements? Well, I, I wait. See, why is it inconsistency, man? No, you but, use one criterion to reject the Bible, yeah. but then the same criterion applied? Oh, well, why? Yeah. Be consistent. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, that was like, there's like other things, there's not, not like just like one. Well, yeah. well, what about Muhammad saying, if someone says, I'm a black man, kill me. If you, Does it say that? Does it say that? Could I, could I ask you something in yeah. advance? And all honestly, Victor, if he shows you that, will you be okay with it? Or he sold black slaves and all this. You go oh, I know will that you part. Will you be okay well, with it? Well, you know that it? part. Yeah. No, the other part black I was asking and, about. And he bought black slaves? You know that? Yeah, yeah, no. Are you okay with it? No, but some of them were he was trading for the Muslims. Oh, so you're okay though? Yeah. You're okay with it. I, I mean, know. you can't even the whole the even though it makes whoa, it whoa, the wait. issue of the skin color says black. Why even mention their skin color? Why even say black? Why not just say slaves? Well, there was Afro, but but why say skin color? I don't know, but that's what. But I'm just saying, you can't throw. Does the Bible ever do that? Yeah. Does it black always say the black slaves or the white it, slaves? The answer is no. The they do, but they do define you between guys, Gentiles. Talk, but they do define between Gentiles yeah, and regular slaves, slaves, like regular. Captains of War. So there so with the with the Jewish slaves, you could free in seven years. But it doesn't but say. A Gentile, but it's very, so it doesn't say anything about black slaves, though, does it? 
It doesn't prefer, but it does differentiate ethnicity-wise. Okay, but, but not just one particular race yeah. point. Let me address that. Right. It's, it's not about race either. He's, saying, about he's saying Gentiles. Okay, well, let's, let's go with the logic. The Gentiles mm -hmm. that you're referring to mm -hmm. sacrifice children to their gods and goddesses. Mullen. The Gentiles that you're referring to committed bestiality, homosexuality. Mm -hmm. The Gentiles that you're referring to committed incest and worship gods and goddesses. Mm -hmm. The most humane thing that God could have done mm -hmm. is have them enslaved by the Israelites to now have a moral restraint. Mm -hmm. Because now when the Israelites are controlling you, you mm. can't go around murdering children and committing bestiality. Now, what was this all? Yeah, the Gentiles, of course. They were characterized by that. Human sacrifice was common across the world. Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so That's all over the world. And it's then like also, they would have sexual yeah, orgies like, oh, to appease their gods and goddesses. God. So the reason why God said, you free a Hebrew Israelite, mm -hmm. not a Gentile, because part of the judgment mm -hmm. is that this is their punishment for living such a decadent, hedonistic, immoral life. And that becomes a moral restraint because now you constrain that evil spreading like gangrene and destroying others. And it ends up actually protecting the children who otherwise could be sacrificed and killed for gods and goddesses. So let's see the broader picture. Mm -hmm. Not just look at snippets, but still, even with that said, mm -hmm. why would, why would in the Quran in chapter 4 verse 24 mm -hmm. allow Muslims when they attack let's say Jews and Christians mm -hmm. and take married women captive, it says then you can have sex with them. Why? What's their crime? They're not idolaters. They don't commit bestiality. They don't commit homosexuality. Well, the Bible says the same thing. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Are you want me to show you no? No, when the, the armies were marching into the promised I'm land. I'm giving you the verse. And they, de and they what was those? Deuteronomy 21, 10 and 14. I'm telling you, no, it doesn't. Deuteronomy 21, 10 and yeah. 14 says, if you find a captive woman, mm -hmm. you find her attractive. You give her a month to mourn. Mm -hmm. She is to shave her head, right? Mm -hmm. And give her a month to mourn the death of her loved ones, mm -hmm. make sure she changes her clothes of captivity. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, you marry her. Mm -hmm. And if there's something you dislike, you divorce her and send her off. Mm -hmm. You cannot sell her because you've humiliated her. That's not in the Quran. The Quran says, if a married woman is taken captive, you can have sex with her and sell her even if her husband's alive. You're comparing apples and pineapples. No, 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 That's no, no, chapter no. four, verse 24. You want me to read it for you? Wait. No, so which you is know, more you know, you know what groups I'm talking about? The ones there where isn't. I'm they're, telling you. they're going into the, the and there isn't land. there. Nowhere does it say you take a woman captive who's married. But they and you but that was her. all the virgins though. They kept all the virgins. No, you my friend, no, numbers wait, wait. 31, 15, 18. Yeah. You're taking out of that context too. Read the Bible, the other Bible. I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. Numbers 31, 15, 18. Which you misquoted again. I know what you're referring to. Yeah. Can you tell me the context of that? Wait, I gave you the kinds of crime that you didn't. Oh, I think it had something to do with the past. Some no, kind of deal. With the past. Yeah. It had to do with a group of women. Mm -hmm. This is number. I'm giving you the context. Numbers mm -hmm. 25, numbers 30. Mm -hmm. A group of Moabite and Midianite women. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. This is the part where this video gets more interesting. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so and hit the notification button to be notified each time we post a new video. Let's get back to this video to get more details. Enticed Israelite men to have orgies with them in worship of Baal. God said, wipe them out, but spare the virgins, because the virgins were not culpable. They did not entice them. But what about the but, but what about the virgin boys? They, okay, well, okay, now they, let's, they let's go like, with that. What about if there was like a six-year-old boy? Uh, very easy. A ten-year-old. Yeah, yeah. Can I answer? Okay, yeah. You want to answer? Even though yeah. you skirted 424 notice, you still didn't answer. What's 424? I don't even know what it says. Let me get you the crown. Sam, I brought up the Hadith if you want to look at it. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, let me show. show wait, 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 what book is it from? Yeah, man, it's, uh, I don't know if what I should. What book, book is it from? Yeah, yeah, it's it's from the top right. Uh, There's a source. The reason why I pulled away because he said three. It's going for the camera. Ibn Musa. I never heard that one. Yeah, well, you won't hear it. What book is it from? Yeah, it's, it's from Chef. Uh, it's Es Shifa Kat. Kadiyat as Shifa. Yeah, Jesus I would have to look that up. Look here. It's true or not. Now, this is the verse I kept mentioning, but you kept running into the Bible. Mm -hmm. Also, prohibited to you are what? Wait, this is not, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay. Uh, read and also, yeah, I'm gonna get and also yeah, prohibited to you are married women. Except, except those, you're right. Ah, there's addresses. nothing wrong with that? This, Let's wait, ask wait. the woman if there's nothing wrong with that. Woman, this Muslim man attacks you, you're married. Oh, wait. The Quran wait. says that you're married, he can still have sex with you and sell you off. Nothing wrong with that? No, you, you sure you won't be okay with it? <gasps> Sucks no. being you, Quran says he can do it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read the whole... Yeah, read it, please. Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't change the context. Conveniently, now for this, you want context. I like that. Wait, wait, wait. Prohibited to you are your... See, like, this makes sense. Your mother's... No. Yeah, I'll keep reading. Your sisters... And or... that doesn't explain away that part. Keep reading. Doesn't explain away that part. Now read 24, you jump there. 
Well, what I'm reading it. Context? Wait, wait. So okay, if I have a servant, uh, well, wait, this it's is just. It's not a servant. This if you is take just. someone captive who's married, you can't have sex with them. Whoa, 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 wait. So if we, no, this is just. It so is I've been just. reading about this. Just, ladies. This, this is just. If he takes you captive, you're married, he can have sex with you. It's just. You heard it, right? From this, is, this, is, this is and just. this is not abrogated. This is still binding. Today. Wait, this is just. You know so why? be careful this guy comes to your area. You know why? Because. It's because to do that? in American uh, um, slavery, we saw how. What's that got to do with this? Uh, in American book slavery. That's from God. No, 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 no. This is the way. That, in American slavery, we saw that that the um, they had the, the the people would have sex with the slaves, we're not but the kids about would it. still be slaves but you're not and sold about, off. You're not. See, so you're changing subject. But if the same. No, read but it. You're, married but you're, uh, women accept those who you married wait, wait, wait. Woman who's your captive. But you if can you look at the, with her. But if you look at this, it says. If you, if I have a captive woman, that's married. I can marry. I can allow to marry her. No, it doesn't say that. Don't misread it. Stuck for a lot. Stuck for a lot of it. Don't oh, wait, misread also. it. Read it again. You can't have sex with a married woman except if she's a captive woman. That means mm -hmm. if you take a captive woman married, you mm -hmm. can have sex with her. Mm -hmm. Read it. This is Sunan Abu Dawood, number twenty-one fifty, for the context of the hadith and Ibn Kathir. Wait, wait, wait. You so want to how, bring up soon enough? Wait, wait, so how is this? Oh, wait, so yeah, I, I don't understand. I can't when I got the right, camera, though. Okay, okay. I'm out of here. Alright, you have a good day. Alright, Sam, I'm gonna see you from the day. Wanna see you later? Yeah, I'll see you soon. I have a good day. Right. So are you okay with that? <laughs> wait, say okay, if I have... Okay, let me give you practical. practical. Say if I have literally... Okay, I have a captive. Say if I have... No, my friend, you're not listening. You're trying to defend someone. If I have a captive woman that's married. Where's my love, bro? I'll see you later, bro. Yeah, I see how you are. You need your own camera, though. People for that blonde hair, white man. I see what's up, bro. Yeah, tell him I said what's up. I got to be cameraman. All right, yeah. Tell him, tell him it's reparations. Hey, I want to meet him. Wait, if if they get attacked. Okay, jihad. I'll stop for jihad. He's a beautiful jihad. Yeah. I come and I attack. I take your mother, who's married captive, and I take your sister, who's married captive, mm -hmm. and then we have sex with her. Mm -hmm. You okay with this? Please answer directly. Don't do the tap dance. Technically, you wouldn't be okay with it okay, because good. that happened to your family. Like, but that's but that's the honest someone, human answer. If you that happened to your family. Four twenty four. But that's what you have to do in jihad because they are not Muslim. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Easter mm -hmm. Now, if you want to still believe it, that's between you and God. You have the freedom of choice. But the difference with the Old Testament. That's about Israelite history. This is a command that's still binding on you if you have No, it. no, but I'm just saying that we have historical evidences around the world. For what? People still use the Old Testament for law. Okay. People use the Quran for a lot of things. I know. ISIS does it. Are you okay with it? I'm not okay with ISIS. Okay, but are you but they use the Quran, But they could huh? be crazy things still. Oh, but those same crazy people must use the Bible. Why are you blaming the Bible? I, but I'm just saying that I'm just saying that but I didn't some people it. I gave some you the people but, but I'm saying like some people don't believe that. The Old Testament is just Old Testament. They do apply. How? Somewhere. The new Jesus told us mm. that we follow his law. Even your Quran says, mm. this is your Quran. I'm mm. going with your Quran. Mm. We are Ahl al the mm. people of the gospel, meaning we follow the gospel. That's mm. chapter 5 of the Quran, Surah al 47. You want me to show it to you? We don't follow. We're not Ahl al Torah. We are Ahl al Injil. But, but I thought um, we believe, wait, Jesus said, Jesus said that you're supposed to follow the old enemy. No, Jesus said you follow him as he fulfills and perfects the old. No, but I thought he said. No, um, he didn't. Do not think you that. You have I to believe in every. Well, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Jot and tittle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. you're misquoting. Okay, but yeah. here. And here, I'm going to read your Quran 350. And I have come confirming what was before me of the Torah and to make lawful for you some of what's forbidden to me. So now he says the Torah is true, but now I will make haram what was haram. So who do I follow? If there's something haram in the Torah and Jesus says I'm making haram, who do I follow now? What Jesus says or what the Torah says, according to your Quran? Who do I follow? And I have come confirming what was before me of the Torah and to make lawful for you some of what's forbidden to you. That means if Jesus comes and I'm a Jew, the Torah says this is haram, this is unlawful. Jesus says I make it lawful. So if I fear Allah and I follow Isa, do I then follow what he says is now okay or I say no Isa, I still keep the Torah? With the follow what he said. Okay, that's my point. Even that passage you're quoting, finish it. It's not Matthew 5. Then read it. You have heard it was said, but I say to you. Wait, because I I'm say only saying this because you guys have Jewish Christians who say that 
they have to follow all the Old yeah, Testament, they can all say the 360 want. laws. Or they can say what they want. They can't follow Well, no, no, I hear about So, But yeah. just know it's not just Jewish Christians. Those people, even in the Old Testament, we refer to them as Judaizers. Yeah. We try to put the whole of yeah. the Old Covenant upon New Covenant believers. Mm -hmm. But if you read, it's a beautiful passage. If you read Acts 15, it's not a stumpy yep. or anything. Mm -hmm. If you read Acts 15, it, it deals partially with this because what was happening in the early church, they didn't know what to do with all those new Christians that were coming in, right? Mm -hmm. And some of the Judaizers were trying to do just what you said. So I'm not denying that people have done that. I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. And they said, you got to follow this. you got to do this. you got to be circumcised. You can't eat that, right? Mm -hmm. Do all this stuff. Yeah. They had a council and said, we're not going to put that which we know our forefathers have been able to keep. Mm. Here's what you need to do. And it was a basic set of moral principles that the Gentile believers would live by. Mm. So that's out of pocket to do that because we're exactly. saved by grace through faith. Mm. But I, I hear you. We're not denying this too now. But, but, wait, 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 Read 546, wait, 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 we gave him the gospel in which was guidance and light, and confirming that which proceeded of the Torah as guidance and instruction for the righteous. 47. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has so revealed. So if I here. follow Jesus and I follow Torah, does not gospel. judge by what Allah has revealed, it is those who are the defiantly disobedient. So if I'm Ahl al Injil, do I follow Torah or the gospel? If I'm a follower of Jesus, not the Jew who rejects Jesus. What is the Torah? What is the Gospel? Uh, according to your Quran, it's what they had at that time. No, I'm asking you, what is it? Yeah, it's what I have. No, what what is it? The, what I have, the New Testament. What so, I have. exactly. So you say the Torah is the New Testament? No, you said Torah and what is the New Testament. The, the gospel no, is, is I gospel. ask you a question. What is the Torah the and what is the Gospel? The Old Testament. Yeah, and I answered the Gospel. If you're listening more than debating, I answered you. Gospel, New Testament, Torah, Old he Testament. You did answer to be fair. We got to record it. So Great. don't debate if you're going to debate. If you're asking, let me answer. So the Torah is? Yes. Torah is? Is the Old Testament. And the Gospel is? Is the New Testament. So now what's your question? Well, no, what's, what's it to him? No, no, I'm, I'm his brother. Yeah, they're having well, a few. You, would you allow me to answer? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, thanks. The question is if I follow Isa, I follow his Gospel. Yeah. But if I reject Jesus, like the Jews do, then they're told in Surah Al Maida, read 545, read it for him, 43 to 46, oh, again? they follow the Torah. Okay, so, so the, Jews, the, the Jews, they follow the Torah. Is that what you're saying? No, I, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, I'm, I just, just let said, me understand. Excuse my intelligence. Would you repeat? What, what are you I'll saying? I'll probably just ignore you completely if you keep it up. They were having awesome. a great conversation. Awesome. Yeah, but yeah, but I'm, 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 I humbly request, don't change the tenor. Let me finish. Yeah, Whatever. Don't Whatever, change the tenor. They were no, having no, no, a... I'm not being very rude. You're very rude. No, no, you're you come over here and you're aggressive and you don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, so the question. I am requesting, please. Don't okay. change the tenor so the, the way question. you're doing. So the Torah is the Old Testament and the Gospel is the New Testament. So which one do you follow? I follow the New Testament. What about the Old Jesus. Testament? I follow what Jesus tells me about the Old Testament. But your Bible has both of them, right? Yes, yes. So how is why. that? Be very easy. Why? Can I answer you or are you arguing? I'm answering, I'm asking. Okay, be patient for the answer. Sure. Because the Old Testament points to Jesus. And yes. Jesus says, I now fulfill it, now follow me. That's what he says in my New Testament. So why are they in the same book? Because the Old Testament is a witness to Jesus. It's like asking you, okay. how do you know Muhammad was sent by the God of Abraham? What okay. evidence do you have? Okay. No, no, no. No, that's that's not no, no, it's relevant. Yes, no, it is. It's not. I'm asking okay. you. Bye -bye. You have both. Can you answer? Can you answer? You have both in the Bible. Bye -bye, you have sir. both I'm not in one book. You have both in one book. Muhammad. Can how can you, you follow two chapters? I'm answering. Well, you follow. Not, answer. How many? How many chapters? The new, the new the new Are long. you trying to fight with me here? I don't want to answer your question. You're debating. So, how many chapters the New read Testament? Chapter five for how me. many? How many chapters the New Wait, Testament? Sorry, I read chapter five. five verse how many five. chapters the New Testament? I'm Wait. ignoring you. I don't know what else you want me to awesome. do. Awesome, awesome, great. I thought you're here to discuss and learn. No, I'm not here to have someone not listen when he's asking Wait, a question. Five, five, five. Five. Sure. I'm, I'm glad your camera records, which I know you're gonna edit it later. But no, I'm we don't do what you guys. No, no. Do. I'm asking you. We don't question. need to edit. It's an example asking. of bad behavior. Just what? let it, let it play out, bro. Read Whatever, 5, 43 to 46. 43 to 46. Sure. 43 to 46. Sure. 43 to 46. It says, how, but how is that they come to you for judgment while they have the Torah and what's the? And I'm gonna ask him a question. What do you think's going on, brother George? Yeah, I would love to see the San Diego Christians to be here every Saturday, every Sunday, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. You have an obligation to come here and expose, 
Islam and share the gospel with Muslims and prevent the conversion of Islam. This is reality. They are here in your backyard. You Christians in San Diego, please do your job. Thank you. It's an amazing opportunity. It's an amazing opportunity. And I get to talk to many people. They were approached by them, and we need to prevent them from knowing. I, I want them to know the truth about what is Okay, so the Bible is perfect in every fact. Okay. I want, I'll, 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 no, in every statement of fact. In other words, you cannot find a single contradiction okay. to reality within the Bible. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, but, but there is contradictions in the Bible. You know that. No. Okay, so in. in, 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 in uh, in uh, 2 Kings 2. Before 40. you start, define a contradiction for me. I'm going to define a contradiction? No, define it before okay. we start so okay. we can have an okay, understanding. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So let me ask you this. When, 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 when you say one thing, if you tell me this guy right here, he's wearing a... John Calvin shirt. A great... Okay, John Calvin shirt. <laughs> is that what it is? John Calvin? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. I was predestined to wear so, it too. <laughs> he's wearing a gray jacket. He's got See? a red and gray badge. Okay. Right. okay. What's your name? What's your name? Vocab. No, what's your name? Vocab. Your name is Vocab? Yeah. Let's say he's 30 years old. Okay. I, I like this guy. Hey. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's just say. <laughs> let's just say. Your name really Vocab? Yeah, you call me Cab for short. But who, who names you Vocab? It's your like my it's like my nickname. Oh, what's your real name? No one calls me my real you name. You go by Vocab, huh? Yeah, okay. because I deal with Hebrew Israelites and they want to kill me, so I don't give my real name. Oh, man, yeah. That's, man, no, that's seriously, that's tough. why. I always tell Hebrews lights. Muslims are way more respectful than you guys. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> they get mad when I say that, but I tell them, no, seriously, Muslims are way more respectful yeah, yeah, yeah. than you guys. What's honestly, the bounty? Honestly, yeah, I want to. I want to decide if I should make a call. Nah, or not. they, they, uh, they just, yeah, they're. they're honestly, book out to be honest with you. Uh, me personally, I'm not like a big fan of this style of, of interaction because what it does is causes people to just. Some people see the camera and then they start switching up. It's like, it's all genuine at first, and then when the camera comes, oh, let me just start trying to prove myself. Or sometimes the people that are interacting, sometimes it's not even gonna go anywhere because one person's trying to prove the other person wrong, the other person's trying to prove It can happen, wrong. I agree. And, 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 and you know, in all honesty, to be honest with you, I'm here when I'm speaking. I speak yeah. with genuineness. And honestly, like, I, I look, in Islam, in the Quran, Allah tells us, if you do not believe what's in this book, go into the world and see for yourself. Don't blind yourself and believe it. Don't wait, just say. Where is that? Oh, it's the first one. I'll pull it up for you. Yeah, you guys, you guys seem to be doing good, though. Yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. It's good but, conversation. But, but, so, I appreciate it. Yeah. So the point that we got. Well, let me pull up the verse for you. Trying to get some uh, some of the booth here. A lot of beneficial conversation. Liar, defined. I, I left because that guy was playing. Not a stupid, yeah, no, but we just humiliated. You guys were having a really good conversation. Yeah, no, no, it's all right. Nice on my friend, how are you? What's your name? Oh, oh he's stuck in the rough. Lost, you want to get it here? So he asked me a question. Is a lot so my, my answer was that Allah is not created. So he asked me another question. He asked, that, is the words of Allah created? I said, no. He said, well, the two are not created. That means two God. Well, this is just nonsense. Allah has not created. And this is simply tells you that none of his description, none of his attributes are created. Because can how could Allah be not created? And then his part or his attribute or his description created. He's not created. That means his attribute and his description is not created. So I feel like I'm rapping right now. You see? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Will they enter into Jannah? Do you know the answer? Will she enter into Jannah? Okay. I don't think. My personal opinion. What? So, what? What do you think disqualifies them? Their beliefs. So, if you have the wrong beliefs, their beliefs. Like, like if you don't, if you do is watch videos of them. They don't pray. They pray to the saints. They pray to saints. They're 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 Shia saints. They pray to the saints. They worship Ali. <laughs> that's, that's the whole point of it. All right. They may say they don't, but they do. So because making dua like you're praying is a form of worship. Right. So that's why I don't. 
I would say no. Because what I was going to ask him is, if Shia are own Muslims, and because he accused them of being practicing Kia. He accused him of practicing lies. They do, they right? do, yeah. Right, because I mentioned to Kia, and he said, you know what it is. But that's more Actually, like the, a Shia thing, though. Right, that's what he said. Yeah. And so the reason I asked him, are Shia real Muslims? Because if he said yes, I was going to say, then you're saying real Muslims can lie as part of their, as their religious I practice. Person, like, this you is, said no, this so is it's, my a different, personal opinion. it's a different answer I'm not, to you. I'm not, answer, I'm not answering for the Muslims in the world. Right. My personal opinion, I don't believe they're real Muslims. Just because I've seen their practice, I watched the videos, Translated from Farsi to Arabic, right. they do a lot of crazy things. Like, what about this? Do they, they have an idol. I think this was in Pakistan or somewhere, somewhere in the Indo Pakistan. I guess that a Pak that an idol of Hussein was Prophet Muhammad peace be upon his grandson in the masjid. They're crying to it, <laughs> but you can't tell me that's worshiping God. Well, it sounds like idolatry to me, but I'm not it's, it's so vouching it, for their salvation. It resembles, it, it resembles Catholic. Saint stuff. Like, saint saint? Yeah. What about like, like, it's like, it's like, like, do you believe people that pray to these saints, that saint, instead of going to God? Right. Do you believe that's problematic? Right. If I went to, do the I? Saint, oh yeah, certainly. Yeah. Well, I went to the yeah. statue of Saint. I'm not sure all the saints are. But if I went to the statue, yeah. and I'm praying to the saint. Help me, Saint Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, Jesus is the one mediator between God and man, Timothy sir. So we're on the same page about that. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think the one mediator is between God and man? Though? I don't believe in the media, I believe in the God directly. Like, okay. Like if I was going to pray, see that's what my whole problem was with Christianity. Yeah. When you need to pray, are you praying to say I want to pray? I'm always praying to Jesus as a Christian. But what I should have been praying to like the Father or, or Yahweh, what we want to say. But that's my own problem. Like I didn't feel comfortable. With it. You didn't know who you were praying to? I, I feel like, to me, it feels like, why do we need to pray to a third party? We can go. Like I don't see the I don't see the purpose of the crucifixion and the resurrection when you could we can go primarily to God Himself. But who's the third party though? I don't believe there's a third party. Well, me neither. I don't believe there's a third party. I know, but when you pray, like say if you're gonna pray for something, like you're praying your mom's sick or something, would you pray to? Our Father, Jesus, who art in heaven, are you praying to, be are name. you praying to Yahweh? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Jesus is Yahweh. Wait, how is Jesus Yahweh? Because he's fully God. No, 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 no. It's three, it's the Trinity. No, 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 no. no. Hey, he's the best. He's very, he's very friendly. I know, he's a good guy, but when other guy came with that, he didn't do anything. Wait, it's not his fault. You can't blame him. Wait, but I, I understand how that goes. Yeah. But I don't the hold Trinity, that against you. The Trinity, you believe the Trinity. Because I was apostolic Pentecostal, and you said I was a heretic. You said I was a heretic. Yeah, I was a heretic. You are a heretic. You are, but you were a nice heretic. Wait, 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 wait. Because you would think I was a heretic if I was apostolic. No, if you're apostolic, it's still a heretic. Because I was like modalism, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that is, that's true, but you were a nice heretic, heretic right? Oh, you can be a heretic in the So when I was apostolic, you would Okay, so I'm saying. I just want you to. But when you believe in the Trinity, you believe that there's three partners, three persons, three persons, three persons they're all independent, they're all independent. Not independent. No, I never say that. Cannot work independently. So I cannot do anything except for the Father. They're not independent. But you said that when you pray, that Jesus is always Jesus. What do you mean? Like saying, how is Jesus human? What are you asking? Wait, wait. wait. That's, that's his essence. What are you asking? It's like well, wait. So when Jesus was getting baptized. He's not and the then River Jordan, and he said that, and heard the voice from heaven, yeah. and then the Spirit descended like a dove. No, no, there's three. There's three. Of course, that's why that's Trinity. perfect. Brother. Three persons. Oh, well, he's got a great point. But then, great point. but then, how is he Yahweh? Right, right, right. right. Be one person. So I can just chime in voice, quickly. right? You know? The Spirit is represented yeah. in the dove, and the Son is present. Yeah, how can all three outside? be one? Because you're assuming Yahweh can three be person. one person. Why? Why does Why does Yahweh have to be one? Because I know what you're thinking. No, but I'm asking you. So you never answer when I ask you. Why does, he have why to does Yahweh more? have to be only one person? Because that's how traditional no, Judaism thought. You're not Trinitarianism. Your heresy taught that. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Trinitarianism says wait, wait, wait. Father, Son, Holy But Spirit. where, okay, show me the Old Testament where the Trinity. Oh, that's that's there. You get the Bible show? I can't show you. Yeah, yeah. But, but you said that. You I'm not sure if it's the part where you said it was the angel <laughs> and Abraham. I want to see so you to me. That's good. Hey, he's listening hey, to me. Hey, he's listening. 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 Hey, he's list
if he's a creature. Can Jibreel, can Jibreel say, I am Allah? No. Can Jibreel say, I forgive you? No. Can Allah say, my name is in him? No. Okay. I'm glad you said it, right? Okay. But I'm just saying, for you, I don't know, so when I read that passage, I didn't see those characters. I didn't see the characters. Okay, Exodus 23. Remember what you said. I'm going to quote it. Jibreel cannot say, I am Allah. Jibreel cannot say, I forgive you. And Allah will not say, my name is in him, right? Okay, here you go. Exodus 23, 20 yeah. to 23, let me read for you. Behold, I send an angel before you. This is God speaking. I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place that I prepared. Pay careful attention to him and obey his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Explain that to me. Remember what you just said. No, 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 before you change it. I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and bring you to... I remember this angel. I remember this angel. I remember this angel. Remember, then you didn't ask me the question. Oh, hey, God. Hey, hey, careful hey, to hey, him, obey his voice. Do not rebel against him. For he, he will not pardon. He will not pardon your children. Why? For my name is in him. But you just said for a camera, an angel who screamed like Gabriel, he cannot forgive sins, and Allah will not say my name is in him. Mm -hmm. God said this angel, my name is in him, and he forgives Now what sins. does my name is in him mean? Is that like his spirit? Or it means my essence, my, my nature. Like when you say the al-asma wa sifat, the names of Allah and his characters. Wait, and so who is this angel supposed to be today? Well, before you ask me who the angel is, you first ask me to return You at least agree with this Okay. That's so two. You at least agree. He's saying his voice Okay, he's saying he is, my name is in him, that's his essence. Not only essence, he says, he will not forgive you. Who but Allah forgives sins? That's Surah Imran 135. He says, he will not forgive your sins. So his spirit is in whoever this angel is supposed to be. Oh, wait, wait, so, wait, 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 okay, okay. For who, whoever this angel is supposed to be, he will, he, not, forgive he will not forgive your sins. He will not forgive your sins, but isn't, but, 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 if, but if the forgiveness of sins is only with God, then how is this like a... That's your proof of my point. How can an angel do what only God does if he doesn't bear the essence of God? That's my point. Yeah. That means he has to have the nature of God and can do what only God can do. And yet he's distinct from God. Welcome to the wonderful world of the children. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, but, but I'm just saying, but where does it show... Brother, let's show how could, Wait, but how could... There could be three and one and one. Because and God one, is not a man. Scene. God is one scene. So. Why not? If God is multi-personal, why can't all three persons appear visibly so you know that God is not one person, though he's one God? But wouldn't it be easier to think that why would it be easier? Kind of like with the uh, wait. So what's the whole thing with the Jehovah's Witnesses? They don't believe in the train, they believe in Angel Michael is Yeah, they believe that God but, created three. But how is that different? That's what they believe. Not but that's created. Not true. The three are not created. But here, okay. just so you can, uh, yeah, three one thirty five of the Quran. Three, three for me. Who forgives? Here, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Yeah. Three, 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 three one thirty five. Let me know if you need it. Three one thirty five. And those who, when you commit, wait. And those who, when they commit immorality or wrong themselves, remember Allah and seek forgiveness for their sins. And who can't forgive sins except Allah? You agree with that? Yeah. Anything. But then God said, this angel will not forgive you. Why is God saying this angel does what only God can do according to your Quran? I'm still waiting for the answer. Wait, but this one is saying that... Uh, who God can forgive sins except Allah? But God said, this angel will not forgive you your sins. But your Quran says only God can forgive sins, which the Bible agrees. So how does the angel forgive sins if he's a creature like Jesus? Wait, the creature wouldn't be able to forgive sins. But that angel does. Did we read it? You want to read it again? Oh, it doesn't say the creature. Okay, read it one more time. Exodus 23:21. But you just read it, and I'm going to give you another one just so it you can be know. Well, keep track of. Yeah. Right. But can I talk to you the first that they did not forgive sins? No, or he will they... not forgive you if you mess with him, just like Allah won't forgive you if you mess with him. Implying he could. He has and no, let me oh, make okay, 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 that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll show you where he does saying, forgive He's saying he's not going to exercise the prerogative to, uh, to forgive sins, okay. but he has the ability to. He has the ability. Yeah. But that's that's what he's saying by that. He's saying okay, it shows now, that he has the show prerogative. Him he does, to. Show him where he does forgive sins. Go to Zechariah chapter three. Just look there. This Zechariah is what the angel. This is what the angel. Yes, angel of the Lord. Zechariah chapter three, verses three and four. Read it and see now he does forgive sins. Zechariah, Zechariah three, verses three, three and four. Okay. Ready? Um, now Joshua. Let him see it too. Was standing before the Lord. I'm sorry. Now Joshua was standing before the angel, clothed with filthy garments. And the angel said to those who were standing before him, Remove the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, 
Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will clothe you with pure vestments. Last verse I'll read. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord is standing by. So the angel is the one who's doing this activity. He's giving an example where this is Sam, I read the verse. So what did the angel say out. to the prophet? See, I have removed your sins. The angel said, why is the angel doing something only God can do? He's given an answer to that question, and I love to read it. Now come back to Jesus, the only hope of salvation. Now Joshua was standing before the angel clothed with filthy garments, and the angel said to those who were standing before him, remove the filthy garments from him. And that's, that's what they're saying, removing the sins. And we're not talking about Jesus. Right? And to him he said, behold, I will take in your iniquity away from you. I will clothe you with pure vestments. Who's speaking? That was the angel speaking. Okay, so now again, the angel not only won't forgive you if you get him angry, mm -hmm. he will forgive you if he's pleased with you. Mm -hmm. The Quran says only Allah forgives sins. So I want to know, how can this angel, if he's a creature, forgive sins, remove sins, and make you pure? Mm -hmm. So is he a creature? I mean, he's created by God, yeah. That's good with this he angel. Just, then that means you have just created a contradiction because only God forgives you, the angel forgives you. Well, I'm going, going, be a I'm going according to your book. You know, no, not my book, because my book agrees. Only God can forgive you. Well, I'm saying according to like the chapter and what so it says. So this I'm angel reading, must be God, I'm just reading right? it in context. I'm not trying to this jump. This angel must be God, right? Because only does what God can do. Wait, 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 we have to wait, wait, but if you say the angel is God, then why don't you like the, uh, when they say that Michael is Jesus? Oh, because he's because created if Michael, being. if Michael was the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. then we'd accept it, but it's not, his name is not Michael. Yeah. An angel in Hebrew and Greek means messenger. It's the word malach mm -hmm. and angelus. It only means messenger. Mm -hmm. And Jesus being the son of the father is the messenger of the father. So the father sends him mm -hmm. with the father's message, but this son, because he's one with the father, can do what only God can do. That's why this messenger is unique. All other messengers are created, but him, no. He's the divine son, one with the father, who forgives sins, which is only something God can do, mm -hmm. and embodies the name of God because he's not a creature. So you believe that Jesus had pre existence? No, Jesus said. Huh? Jesus said he preached. Wait, but this is what well, I'm still okay. So. Jesus said he well, how come? Well, how come they didn't, well, how, well, what's the whole belief that if you say that the trend, then the beginning of the, of the uh, Old Testament, one says the beginning was the word, uh, yeah, yeah, word of God, yeah, 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 and they say and they use like uh, Elohim as a plural. I heard that people. Think yeah, that's we don't the use that. I'm not using Elohim. That's okay. not my argument. But here, okay. do you believe when Jesus says, "I just want you to tell me," don't? Hey, do you believe when Jesus says in John 17:5, read that for me. Just 17:5. You're in chapter 17. Read verse 5. For me. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I have, I have with you before the world. So this is Do you believe Jesus was with the Father before the creation of the world? But he said he was. Yeah. So now you're going to tell me your Bible's corrupt. No, he wait, did but, what Martian but I'm did. just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion. Yeah. I'm not saying, oh yeah, I'm just saying. So can Muhammad person. say, now Allah, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was no, 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 no. Okay, no, can, can Musa, too. can Musa say that? Uh, no, Moses, no, no, no. Can they, can't say, right? No. But Jesus did. So, so explain that to me. No, I'm just saying, but how do you, this is my thing, how do you know, like, what about if the author just wrote the Okay, this, fine, but, but, but you're admitting when you say that, here's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're admitting, yeah, this verse is powerful, mm -hmm. I can't refute it, so I'm not, I'm not going to question whether you said it, which what I said you're going to do. Remember I said in the beginning of the conversation, you're no. going to be a Martian. What did Martian do? Let's yeah. go back. Oh, wait. Martian removed the verses he didn't like. And he only accepted the ones he did. I know. What but, did you just do? But isn't this just You're going a modern on? Martian, right? No, no, no. But isn't this just going on pure faith? Like you have faith that. Yeah, but well, just like when I asked you, Muhammad comes 600 years after Jesus. Mm -hmm. He tells you Jesus said X, Y, and Z in Arabic. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, hold on. Jesus didn't speak Arabic. Mm -hmm. Muhammad didn't know Jesus personally on earth and didn't meet the eyewitnesses. Mm -hmm. He's telling you 600 years later, Jesus said that. And I asked him, do you believe that? You go, yes. So you're going to take the words of a man 600 years oh, later. Oh, I have a question. No, no, no. But not documents no, in the first century. No, I have century. a question. Uh, this is my question. destroyed me. Wait, so when Jesus was on the cross, died, yes. and he's praying to yes. the Father, yes. do you believe that he was in his humanity? No, then? Jesus as the Son of God prays to the Father, because what is prayer? What's prayer? Mm -hmm. Tell me what prayer is. 
you pray, you pray. Is it, is it communication? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Jesus is not the Father, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit is not the Father, mm -hmm. why would it shock you they would communicate to one another what we call prayer? What do three persons in love with one another do? Just look at each other in silence? But that, but, but, but then he said that they were the same, that Yahweh... Same what? Not same person. We be saying essence. Yes, so Yahweh so, so is more than essence. one person, even divine essence, what we call that. So there could be, technically, Jesus, when he comes down, Jesus is the second coming, when he comes down. And that's another question, why do you believe that? We'll get to that. Well, when you believe the second coming, when Jesus comes back, yeah. that, so technically, there will be Jesus on earth, yes. or whatever he does. No, and the Father Yahweh. will then eventually, let's see, he keeps saying Yahweh as if it's only the Father. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example how a name can belong to more than one person. It says, that when, this is the Bible, it says, when God created male and female, he called them Adam. That's what the Hebrew says. He called the male, female, Adam. So Hawa, Eve, was called Adam. Her husband of Adam. So, that Genesis 5 verse 2. In the King James Version. But here you're going to see, I don't know if this translation, but the Hebrew says, it does say. That's kind of interesting. I never heard that yeah, one. Yeah, let me show it to you. They the Hebrew says, over it. yeah, but maybe because your English translation may not show you that the Hebrew says Adam. The King James gives you the Hebrew. But anyway, that's fine. Genesis 5 2. Read what their name is. And then it should have a footnote telling you the Hebrew says. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, made him in the likeness of God, male and female, he created them. He blessed them with them and named them man. Okay, man. But now, what's the <laughs> Hebrew word? Okay, what's the name of the Hebrew word they should show you? I didn't know that. Yeah. It should say, and see, Hebrew, what is it? Adam. So wait. I can never do that. How, how, how was named Adam, right? Yeah. And her husband's name what? Adam. But hold on. That means Hawa was married to herself. She had sex no, with herself. No, they'll be married to me. Also, more, more, the name can belong to more than one person. See, I never knew that person. Ah, so wait, then why wait. do you keep thinking Hawa is one person? You're getting close now. Oh, Coming wait, back wait. to Jesus, the Son wait, of God. Wait, come back so home, wait. son. Wait, wait, Jesus wait. telling you, come back. Wait. So, you made a mistake. No, wait. But this is my this is my question. This is my question. Yes. But don't you believe that the God of the Old Testament is Yahweh? Of course, but he's not one one person. That's what I showed the Old Testament. Uh, the angel is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. The God who sent him is Yahweh, and the Spirit is Yahweh. So when Daniel was in the, do you believe that when Daniel was in the, in the uh, fiery furnace, that's the Son of God. Jesus. That was Jesus, the yeah, furnace. the Son of God, the angel of the Lord, the Son of God. But see, that goes against you. Why does he go against you? In your Quran, oh, yeah, no, Allah yeah, has yeah, no son, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet here in the Old Testament, the angel of God is the son of God who they worship and he saves the people of God. So then, not only is your Quran contradicting New Testament, it's contradicting Old Testament. So now I got two different sets of books against the witness of one man. You want me to now reject these books for the witness of a man who comes 600 years later and speaks a language that the prophets did not speak. And you really want me to stake my eternal life on him? Come on, man. I don't know. You're smarter I than that, dude. I don't know. You, I, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Well, I hope you understand because let me be honest. You rejecting a Jesus you did not know for a prophet that you think is a true prophet. And if you're wrong, you're, you're going to help. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm going to help. Rethink what you did. Because I can be honest with you. You didn't study your faith long enough to make any decision. This is false Islam. It's true. Because here, you said, oh, uh, Jesus prayed. They won't tell you this, but if you know Arabic, and I hope you study Arabic so you can confirm it. Your God, Allah, prays. See, that one, where do you guys get this from? Okay, Chapter wait, wait. 2, but you don't read Arabic, right? I'll have them read Arabic. So the Baqarah, 2157. Because I heard that, that translation... It's not, it's the Arabic word, ask anyone, Salawat. If he speaks Arabic, ask him, what does Salawat mean? Ask him, what does Salawat mean? What does Salah mean? You should bring that on I can't, because when I went there, he said... Because this is, because I heard it was the... He said three people. Yeah, like, you, if you I bring know, this, if you bring it, like... It's like I can't bring it up, you know why? Because he said three That's people. like one of the biggest contentions, I see. With there both. is no condition. It's in the Hadith, when, when in Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, on the, on the ayah of 3356, go and study this, please. Go and ask Wait. your mom to read this. Like, uh -huh. Ibn Kathir, on the exegesis of 3356. There, in Ibn Kathir, he says there's a hadith. They, they asked Moses, does your Lord pray? Allah says, yes, I do pray. And my prayer is my blessing. So he says, yes, I do. But I heard in that verse, it's the blessing. Okay, but 
That, that the word that the word is a blessing. The word for blessing is barakah. You know, in your prayers five times a day, you say Allah, Allah, Salli Muhammad, Ala Muhammad, and then you say Allah. Use the word Salli and barakah. You say, Oh Allah, send your Salla on Muhammad and the family Muhammad, like you sent your Salla upon Ibrahim and his family, right? But, that could but then you say, No, but finish it. Oh Allah, send your blessing upon Muhammad and his family, like you sent it on Ibrahim and his family. In that very prayer, you're using Salla and barakah. They can't mean the same thing. So then barakah means blessing. So what does Salla mean? In that prayer five times a day, don't you say, Ya Allahumma no, Salla. Okay. You use Salah and you use Barakah. Okay, so if Barakah means blessing, what does Salah mean? What does it mean? Oh, it's you can't say Allah, send your blessing. I have to go through more research on that one. You better because, do it. Because I know, I know there's a back and forth with that one. So I remember there's the, no back and forth. It's supposed to go on ahead. I remember the it's not a I remember I remember the debate with uh, I remember seeing the debate with uh, David and yeah, was it in Istanbul? Yeah, Muhammad, Istanbul no, that one? no, I was in uh, New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do you remember what he said? He admitted he goes, Allah prays for Muhammad, not to Muhammad. Allah salla Muhammad, not to. Okay, good. David, go listen to the debate again. I'll give you a million bucks, and it's on camera. If David said Allah prays to Muhammad, he never said that. He said Allah prays for Muhammad. And what did Hijab say? I know I want to give you free Arabic lesson. Allah prays for, not to. Okay, but he admitted. Allah prays for Muhammad. He admitted. But you guys got so hung up on Allah. He just repeated the kafir. But you were not paying attention. Oh, well, how yeah. about Muhammad Hijab's mistake? He goes, yeah, yeah, Elijah means God with us. That's what he says in there. See, you guys only want to hear what you want to hear. Wait, does it? I don't think Elijah means that. Of course it doesn't. Mean <laughs> yeah, I think it Muhammad Hijab. Ha, ha, ha. Elijah means God with us. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's Allah, uh, Allah. Emmanuel. Yes. He goes, like Elijah, it means God. No, Elijah means my God is John. But you guys were so excited to get David Wood crushed, you were not listening. Anything he said. But I've watched the whole thing, so I have to. Watch I, I know I've watched it. But I'm just saying. Come back to me and tell me. I'll give you even my number. Come back. Yes, he did say Allah, Salah for Muhammad. He says yes, he does pray for Muhammad. I'll have to that. Yeah. Oh, let me find the clip. Well, it be right. Whose Bible is this? Is this yours? Welcome back guys, I believe you are able to learn something from this amazing video and you can see why Sam doesn't like debating Uthman and his people. They are not straightforward and they are not ready for debates. You can you notice that they don't allow Sam to answer them. And before he answers them, they either distract him or comes up with another question. That is not how debates and that is not the rules for debate. That is not how people debate. When you ask a question, you wait for your answer and not trying to distract the person from answering you. It shows that you are trying to hide something and you are trying to cover the truth or you are not ready for the truth. They are always running around and then they are unstable. If you ask a question as someone who wants to learn is to be patient and wait for the answer, right? But they won't allow you to do that. My question is, what are they hiding or what are they scared of? If you are scared, then you shouldn't come out to defend your face. Then you should hide like a coward that you are, not coming out to distract people who are ready to debate. And I think the reason they always run around is because of the truth they are already always scared of. And one of the reasons among many is that um, Sam was able to expose one of them where the Quran said it is lawful to sleep with a married woman captured in war even when the husband is around and I, and I believe this is one of the topics they are scared of they are, they are not ready to debate with Sam Shemun and for him to answer their question they don't want him to answer that is not how debate works from the debate, we saw that um, it is lawful to sleep, to have sex with uh, married women 
captured in what Johar, Joharin Jihad even when their husbands are still alive. And I believe this is one of the reasons why many of them are scared of debating Sam Shimon because they believe and they know that Sam knows so much about the Quran and the Bible. Guys, let us know what you think about this debate in the comment section and please don't forget to share, to like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.